Hello Leo, welcome to your reading. So this reading is a general reading to see what is in store for you. So there is a couple of deck cards I'm going to be using for you. So let's dive in and see what is what. Okay. Okay, messages for Leos then please. Okay. So you have let your past go. So the burden of carting your past around you has made you very weary. It's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons of the love. Leave everything else behind. You don't want it and you don't need it. And now it is gone. What do you desire? So you now have opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desire. Once you clearly decide upon your true desire and know that you are ready and deserving of them, they rush into your life as if by magic. Have confidence. So you need confidence. So moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself, but confidence in God is enough. Along with working with God, um, he is going to be like working through you and with you and lean upon him if your confidence ever wavers. daydream so you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts just notice any feelings visions or ideas as if you were watching a movie you then have innocence so everyone is guiltless in truth no one can alter god's handiwork of perfection Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. You have the card of ask. So ask us to help you in a situation. We will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is free will that allow you to make your own choices and your decisions. You then have steady progress. So we acknowledge you for the progress you made in remembering love in your daily activities. We clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and your actions of love. So you have joy. So joy is the highest energy of all, is magical sense that everything is possible. It is coming from appreciating the gifts within each moment and they allow you to attract and create your present future moments at the highest possible levels. Energy work, so we're telling you to do some energy work. So um your body is very remarkable energy field that positively respond to loving treatment. So your hands and your heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones or clients. You have listen. So they tell you to quiet your mind. Listen to their gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. Quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. And you then have Cupid. So we send great waves of love to your heart and your mind, awakening you love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all glorious aspects. Okay, next set of cards. Messages for Leo then, please. Oh, 
Okay, so you have a call upon Archangel Raphael for help. So ask Archangel Raphael, um, ask them for help, describe in whatever situation it is that you're going through and to thank them for the divine healing intervention. Give us your case. So, dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to release any fears to you. Please allow me to completely let go so that you can fully guide me in this situation. your body for a message so you have dear body please help me to hear your messages okay. and archangel raphael please guide me in honoring and respecting my own body's needs so with ask your body for a message this is saying to help your uh, messages um, and to help be guided with respect in your own body's needs. Then the last card of this deck is laughter is the best medicine. So dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for reminding me to detach and find the humour and the irony within every human drama. Right, let's see what deck of cards we have next. Okay. Messages for Leo's then, please. Okay, first one is heaven is watching over you. So all your loved ones, your guides, spirit guides, your family, your friends, all the ones that's in heaven, they tell you they are watching over you. Okay, speak your truth. So whatever truth you have, speak it. They say in don't compromise something. Don't go compromising. Okay, you found it. So something you've been seeking, they're telling you you found it or you are going to be finding something that you've been looking for. Healthful eating. So they're telling you you need to start eating healthfully. Messages for Leo, then please. Okay, we have intuition. So listen to your own inner wisdom. So you need to start listening to your intuition. Okay, the Christ. So open the door to kingdom of heaven. So try and open yourself up to the spirit world. Queen of the Unicorns, so you are blessed with love, compassion and wisdom. Okay, 
Let's see what's going on with your love life. What's going on with Leo's love life then? Okay, so you have the first card, which is getting to know each other. So as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond is going to deepen. So you have engagement card so your love life is going to be ascending to the higher level of commitment so there is a second um level of commitment coming in for you so you may be either engaged or you're going to be getting engaged so i'm, I'm seeing where you're going to begin to know each other there is going to be a fast quick engagement for some of you you have attraction so you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so there is attraction there okay we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring You have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. You have true love. So this is a romance of a lifetime coming in for you. And then you have the codependency card. So for some of you, you may have addictions that is going to be affecting your romantic life. Okay, to see what hidden truth your persons want to say to you then. The ones that you think about, what's the hidden truth they want to say to you? Okay, so they said... I want you, but I'm not available. I wish I could share my good news with you. I left when I saw you with someone. I bury myself in work to forget you. I hid who I really am from you. It's time for me to heal now. I remember every detail of that day. Finding out the truth crushed me. Um, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. I'm starting to understand our connection. We will be together again. I am afraid to contact you. I 
I love you unconditionally. I lost myself for a little while. We both know I'm not the one for you. Oh, the timing just wasn't right for us. Just being near you is intoxicating. I left you before you could leave me. I regret lying to you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I wish I had treated you better. And the last one is, I know that I crossed the line with you. Okay then, Leos, so that is your reading. Um, if you enjoyed my videos, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.